Hello, everyone. It's Carol Blanchett, Superintendent of Schools, and I would like to give you an update on our plans to reopen Situate Schools on August 31st. As you know, the governor um, gave all school districts direction in terms of creating a plan for reopening full in person on August 31st. Since she made that announcement, there have been many iterations of guidance, many meetings. I have convened a task force that continues to meet. We have submitted a plan. It was due on July 17th. And we are expecting to hear from RIDE and to get some feedback from both RIDE actually and the Department of Health by next Tuesday. And the plan will be adjusted as needed by our task force and we will make it public um, by July 31st. There will be opportunities for uh, parents and community students and staff and faculty to ask questions. We uh, plan on holding a sort of town hall meeting so that people can join and we can share the plan with you and you can ask um, questions about the plan. I will be joined, I believe, by um, the new superintendent, Lori Andres. She will um, be coming on board on Monday and so we will have about four days together to, um, to make that transition and even beyond that I'm happy to um, to support her as she, um, she takes the reins of the superintendency and faces the many challenges um, that this period of time in our history uh, presents. We will have four plans. We will have a full in-person plan. We have submitted a partial in-person plan as well a limited person plan, and a full distance learning. We learned lessons uh, from last spring. We've been really reflective about what went well, what didn't go well, and we've tried to adjust some of those um, some of those aspects to distance learning that we didn't think worked very well for for kids and we we want our kids back we want we want situate children back in school we know that that's the best place for them and we are um, following every guideline that the department of health has issued very closely and we are going to um, take that plan when we get the feedback and we are really going to consider everything that has been said to us and the um, next step will, will be to share it. And then after that, it will be to execute that plan. So we have um, good systems for monitoring, for disinfecting, for social distancing, for wearing masks, for all of the things that everyone is uh, concerned about. We have put into our plan for the Rhode Island Department of Health and the Rhode Island Department of Education guidelines. We are just as anxious to share it with you as you are to hear it. So you can expect that next week you will receive some communication with some dates as to um, when we'll be holding these forums and you can learn more about how Situate is returning to school. I also want to mention in terms of dates, a couple of things that the governor has um, put on her calendar. Number one, she is holding Facebook sessions on Thursdays from 3 to about 3.30. There are about half hour sessions. Yesterday was her first one. We posted um, the opportunity on the website, but it was, um, you know, she just decided to do it on Wednesday. So it was a quick turnaround. However, she plans on doing it every Thursday from 3 to 3.30. The first session yesterday was with two pediatricians who talked about, you know, what we all know really that the um, the kids are are better in school. We want them in school, but we want them to be safe in school. And and that you've heard me say this a number of times is my number one priority. Um, and I know that it is uh, Superintendent Lori Andres's priority as well. So we'll discuss um, that further. She will be holding a new 
uh, Facebook session next Thursday with a couple of uh, other experts to be determined. The second thing that she's done is she has an email update and you can go on her Facebook page and there's a place to sign up for it, but she is going to dedicate the Friday email blasts to school reopening. So that will be helpful in terms of keeping up with her thinking and um, you know, questions that people ask her, things that she's going to answer for you uh, in the future. Uh, so please you know, sign, up for, sign up for that. We, as part of our communications plan, we're also putting in place a frequently asked question link. So you should be seeing that. It'll be on the website. We are going to be holding, as I said, some um, town hall type forums with community, with staff, with students um, and faculty. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, be looking for that. We are developing a, a template that is going to um, signal to everyone that this is you know, reopening school information that will appear in principal's newsletters, on our website, all pages, district and school pages. It will come out in any emails that the superintendent does, and it will just be um, a, a designated template, a standard template, a consistent template that you know when you see it, it's about um, COVID-19 school reopening related uh, issues. So, so be looking for that. So, so there's a lot to, um, to tackle, but we are genuinely, genuinely excited to bring um, the kids back. We, we miss them, they miss us, they miss school. They're better off in, in the environment that, um, that we offer in the, in the buildings. But things will be different and, and parents and children will, you know, sort of have to acclimate to the new conditions even in the building. I'm hoping that we can all work together, that parents will give us their support in helping kids to understand that um, we, we are in this together. This is about taking care of one another while we're at school. It's about social responsibility and all of those things that, you know, we are proud of in situate and we recognize that families and students in situate have those same those same values about community and and um, and taking care of one another thank you so much for the the last two years and allowing me to serve as your superintendent it has been a, a highlight of my career such wonderful people and a caring community and educationally focused and i um, employ you to keep that um, keep that value system because uh, you know when students achieve uh, students do well and they feel good about themselves so so please help um, to continue to support situate school department thank you and goodbye.